I'm ready to take you guys on this, on this, uh, urban safari. <laughs> For sweltering subject, lesson number 13. Top five bugs based on mouthfeel. Hypothetically. Jinx grills. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> Jinx grills here. We just got dropped off. I'm alone. No assistance. Want to survive on our own. Eating what we can. And drinking our own piss. Maybe. If we're lucky. <laughs> Alright, you guys. This is what I'm calling the insect essentials, okay? These are gonna get a score of 1 to 5. We're gonna have picky pass. This is... If you were to, like, go up to a child and try to get them to eat a bug, like, raw or cooked, um, how likely is that to happen? Okay, you know, maybe you can show them information that this bug has been eaten before, um, you know, stuff like that. Is it gonna pass? Are we gonna get, you know, approval from, from Bresden over here? Next is texture tsunami, okay? If I'm gonna eat a bug, it better be a sensation for my mouth. That better be some good shit, okay? You know, I'm gonna go out of my comfort zone, we might as well get wild, and I wanna be tasting multiple textures, all right? I don't want a plain piece of chicken breast, okay? And then tongue triumph. Assuming we were to eat this raw, would, it, would my tongue survive? Am I gonna get fucked up? Like, am I actually gonna be okay eating this bug? And then, hipster hype. You know, these days, you gotta be pleasing the hipsters, right? Can we locally source this? Is it organic? Are people gonna get angry at us for eating this, you know? Is this an abundant resource, alright? This is, this is... You know, we got it. We got to please our, our our local hipster communities. Very important. So, what bugs? What bugs are we gonna are we gonna are we gonna rank today? Hmm. Hmm. Oh my gosh, you guys! Holy heck! I got a live one. Oh my gosh! What do we got? What do we got here? Oh man. Oh man. Ooh. Ooh. We got the wrong freaking scene. We've got a cockroach. We've got a cockroach. Oh my gosh, we need to move, Zach. We need to move. We've got roaches. We've got roaches. Why is that picture so HD? Oh, we're gonna put this guy back in the back in this net. All right, I'll let, I'll let you guys see. I'll, I'll let you guys see. We got. Look at how accurate we've got little leg spines. We've got freaking roaches, dude. Our cats are not doing their job. Look at that thing. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I don't like it. I don't like. It. Let's stick a top hat on there. All right. It makes me feel better for some reason. Let's just, I think he looks dapper, okay? Now he's dapper. Let's go with that. Ooh. Ooh. Gosh. <laughs> I, yeah, please pass the raid. Uh, okay, so the cockroach. Let's see. Picky pass. Could we get some kid to eat a cockroach? Now... The internet being the internet is a wonderful resource, right? So, I just so happened to stumble upon a website specifically talking about edible bugs, how to eat them, should you eat them, and it turns out that, hell no! Nah. I mean, no kid's gonna want to eat any bug, right? But, in this context, I'm also gonna go off of not just, like, American children, right? Like, we're talking about if there's, like, a culture where it's fairly normal. Also, if you could cook this in a way that it'd be not too crazy. I mean, this is, like, one little unit, right? So, <laughs> I flash it on there. 
It says that cockroaches can actually be very clean and tasty, especially if they're fed fresh fruits and veggies. They can be eaten toasted, fried, sautéed, boiled. Hissing cockroaches taste like a greasy chicken. So, I mean, you know I wouldn't do- Oh my god! I wouldn't do it! But the fact that so many people have cooked this so many different ways and it tastes like chicken, if I was served this as a kid and I had no idea, I'd probably just go for it, you know? Or if we're if you're from somewhere where this is pretty normal, I think that's actually, you know, at first glance you would think, fuck nah, right? But if you can do all these different things with a cockroach and it's just gonna taste like some, some chicken thigh meat, then yeah, pretty common for people to eat roaches. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna give it a five. Uh, texture Tsunami. Looking at this guy, I mean, it looks kind of crunchy, and there's these little, like, little legs, but to be honest, there's not too many different things going on here. I only gave it a two, because I don't feel like you're going to have, like, a crunch, and then a juicy, and then, I don't know, there's not, there's not too much. Like, there's, there's a little bit to this. I don't think I'm going to have, like, a five-course sensation. I was supposed to show you. Uh, if if I were to eat this, I'm not I'm not I'm not sticking this thing in my mouth, okay? Um Yeah. So and then oops. <laughs> Crying and screwed. Yeah. So I don't know. I think compared to other bugs anyway, this guy is pretty vanilla. Alright. Next is Tongue Triumph. I'm thinking that's what this is for. I'm thinking if I were to eat this, would my tongue be okay? All right. Would I have a tongue? Would I die? Like, am I going to be all right? Honestly, yeah. Like high score of five. I think I'd be okay. I don't think this variety at least is going to put up too much of a fight. They can survive a lot, but I'd be fine. Like, I don't think this is a huge deal. And then hipster hype, I mean, they're literally everywhere, right? There are fucking cockroaches all over the place. People are eating them already. I don't think this is very controversial. So, you know what? We get hipster approval. We get hipster approval. We're okay. So, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Cockroach gets a 16. High score would be 20. Cricket flower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Better get a good score. Not a bad score. Not bad, not bad. 16. All right. Hmm. hmm. What else? What else do we have on our safari? Hmm. Oh, my gosh. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see this? Oh, God. Oh, God. I touched it. I touched it. Oh, no. Oh, no. What do we got? What do we got, you guys? What do we got in here? Oh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. It's big. It is a praying mantis. It is a praying mantis. Oh, boy. This guy is, this guy is spicy. This guy is attitude. Oh, praying mantis. Okay, they are cool, but would I eat it? Ooh, look at these. Ooh, ooh, that is. Those eyes look really bulbous, and then it's got like spiky things. It's got spiky things all along its arms. And, I don't know, something with eyes that big, I feel like it would be, it's like an alien, right? It's like it, it would be talking to me, and it would be like, bro, why are you gonna eat me, dude? And I'd be like, you know what, I don't know. Orchid mantises are very pretty, yeah, those are nice. Let's also give him a top hat. You know, everybody's looking dapper today, he's rocking it. But, oh my god, like, holy shit. That is really creepy. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. No. I really don't. I really don't. And you know what? That bug eating website, 
It said literally nothing about mantises. It even has a list of which ones not to eat. And it's also not, like, eating mantises, I googled it, it has not occurred to anyone, okay? I'd be with that little ass girl down there screaming and crying. No, like, she is not a fan of this mantis and neither am I. Uh-uh. I'm not gonna eat this. Bro, looks like it's trying to read my brain waves. I'm not gonna eat it. Uh-uh. Okay, no. Oh, I didn't do a good transition, but text your tsunami. You know, compared to the cockroach, you've got you've got a little bit of different things going on. You've got legs, right? You've got like these claws, you've got legs, you've got a body. There could be some juice in there, you know? There might be a little little juiciness in there. So I'm gonna give it a three. It's like middle of the road, right? You've got a little more meat to it. Uh, it'd probably be crunchy, a little juicy. The eyeballs, ew, it'd be like popping boba. Um, next, Tongue Triumph. If I were to eat this, okay, you guys, I don't know if you've seen videos of mantises. They've got, they've got, I need to call it boba. <laughs> They've got freaking ta claws, like talons, and these guys are feisty. I've seen gifs where it didn't give a, give, give a shit about an excavator, okay? These guys are not to be trifled with. Um, but, but, I don't think they'd be, I don't think they're like poisonous usually, so I gave it a three. You know, I knocked off two points because of these claw things, but if you were to like nab its head off, You'd probably be okay. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Hayes. Hipster hype. Okay, what would a hipster think about us eating mantises? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, they're not, like, all crazy for it, but at the same time, I don't think they'd care too much. I don't think there's a cause to save the mantis. Um... So, I think that we get a strong, like, eh, do your thing, you do you, from the hipster dude. Alright, I don't, I don't think it's anything crazy. So, the mantis, coming out with a 9. Alright, could be better. The cockroach is winning. I just, I just don't think I want to eat something that, that I look like I could have a conversation with. You know? There, there's too much going on up here. In the popping boba analogy, ooh. Ooh, I regret saying that. Alright, what do we got? What do we got next? Hmm. Oh! Okay. 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 Okay, if if I don't touch it with my hands, it's okay, right? Oh god. Ooh. Ooh, it's a jumper. Oh my gosh, it's a jumper. Oh my Okay. 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 We got we got a big one. Can you guys tell what this one is? Can you guys tell what we got going on next? Oh. oh man, I don't even like touching this one. The spider. Why is it so big? And then there's like stripes and it's, it's got fuzzy stuff. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Spiders aren't bugs. Spiders aren't insects. They're arachnids, but a bug, a bug is a umbrella term. Umbrella term. Okay? Calm down. Ooh. Ooh. Why is that so HD? Why is that HD? Why is it? Let's just put the top hat over the entire thing. Let's just... Let's just know, okay? And you know what? That is a crying baby because that is me. I couldn't, 
I couldn't look at the gifts, you guys. The spider gifts that exist, I literally almost cried. No. Okay, instead of a crying, instead of a spider gift, you get to watch me as a crying baby. That's as close as you're going to get. But I will move the top hat because we do need to look at the spider to be able to do these rankings. I'm just going to be looking at the non-spider side of the screen. To you guys, it looks like I'm looking at the spider. But I'm not. Why is the body so juicy looking? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Picky pass. I... You guys are going to see the ranking. Sorry. But basically... Ooh! Fried spider is a delicacy in Cambodia. Okay? It, if you go to Cambodia, those kids are all for it. Alright? Juice... The, uh, you have to take off their fangs, but also how curled the legs get is an indicator of how good it's cooked. That's not something I ever needed to know, but I gave it a three because I think most people, including my, oh god, including myself, would never, ever, 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 ever eat a spider. Like, you guys could never, ever pay me enough to eat a spider, but in some places it's totally normal and people do it. Oh, God. Texture Tsunami. You guys, mm, okay, those spiders with, like, the big fat bodies, like the one up there, I always call it, like, a skittle body. It's, like, a big, thick, like, ooh, it, like, a, ooh, that would pop out. That would pop, and there's gonna be some liquid in there. And then there's that fuzzy one right there with a big old body. And I just think of the gifts with all the babies coming out. And there was a Reddit post where the guy's favorite thing to eat was pregnant spiders. Pregnant spiders. Pregnant spiders. That's probably my least, my like least favorite grouping of words I could ever possibly say. But, but. <laughs> I said, I said that I want multiple textures, and a spider, I mean, you've got these legs, you've got this squishy body, some of them are hairy, some of them have meteor parts, so I had to give it a high score. Uh, uh, and then if you were to eat one, uh, how would your tongue be? Would your tongue be okay? What if you ate a Black Widow? I mean, wrong, you know, Google really wanted me to use that picture, so people would probably be okay with eating that Black Widow, though. <laughs> but, no, dude, some of these are fucking poisonous. They'll bite you, they'll, you could die. Some spiders can kill you. I'm not for that. I'm not for that. You're gonna burn tarantulas they shoot out these hairs these like spine thingies no bitch no crying baby we're we're circling back to the crying baby no hipster hype yeah sure whatever Hayes. i know i know but i'm just saying if something can kill me i don't want to eat it I think the hipsters would be okay with this one. I think they'd be okay with it because there's spiders everywhere. We didn't say what kind, right? There's like common house spiders. They have chocolate covered spiders in some places. Tarantulas are like a thing. So I give it, hipsters would be cool. Hipsters would be cool with this. Spiders get a 12. Spiders get a 12. Not bad, not great. <laughs> Make her stop a cry. Yeah. We're all the crying baby right now, okay? <laughs> That's all of us. Oh, God. What's next? Please make it not be terrible. What else do we have in our habitat? Oh. You know, something that's not too, too bad, actually. We got a juicy one, you guys. We got a juicy one. 
What do you think we got here? We've got the caterpillar. The caterpillar. This little dude walking around on some leaves and shit. Oh, I just dropped it. <laughs> it's a wild one. <laughs> Look at him go. The caterpillar. Lots of variety going on with the caterpillar, by the way, okay? You got these guys, but then you've got whatever the fuck that is, okay? A broom? I don't even know. Caterpillars be cray. Let's just say that. They both get top hats. We're all swagging out. Hell yeah. Um, alright, caterpillars. So, remember that website I was talking about, right? That tells you, like, what bugs to eat? They said not to eat caterpillars. They said some are toxic, okay? Like the giant silkworm moth and the pus caterpillar. Let's think of the pus caterpillar. That sounds fucking gross, okay? I don't want to eat that. The bright and hairy ones tend to be toxic. Gross. It says if you're stranded, you probably don't want to do this, okay? And also, are you trying to get acupuncture? For your mouth what the fuck no i gave it a one because like honestly if you deep fry it you could probably pass it off for like a mozzarella stick <laughs> but you ain't gonna be happy when you bite into that all right next though texture tsunami i mean let's be honest look at look at the the variety that we have okay and there are many many things in between all right, there are a lot of different varieties. You would think, oh, just a squishy thing like a, you know, gummy worm. But there's like crunch. There's whatever the frick those are. There's a good amount of stuff going on with texture. I mean, Timon is definitely a fan and Bear Grylls. And you probably get some sort of gusher sensation going on. <laughs> Don't ruin mozzarella sticks. Popping boba at mozzarella sticks. I'm coming for all your food. How about Gushers, too? This dude? Oh, yeah, this fat little caboose right there? Gusher City. So I gave him a five, all right? You want you want to go to town and have a whole smorgasbord of feelings in your mouth? Caterpillar's your man. All right? What about Tongue Triumph, though? Am I, am I going to be all right? If I, if I try to eat a caterpillar. To be honest, mostly, yeah. I mean, I gave it a two, um, because of how it could kill you. And they're supposed to be toxic, so I didn't want to give it a high score. But I didn't give it a super low score, because if we're just eating, like, a jelly one, you're probably not going to get hurt. But if you're eating a spiky one, or poisonous one... That's not going to go very well. Oh, I just keep thinking of the popping. Like, if you ate it, and then it's like... Like, oh my god. Uh, hipster hype. What would hipsters say about eating caterpillars? I don't think they would really care. I don't think so. I feel like you could mass produce these two. Wouldn't be that big of a deal. So, I think... I think we'd be okay. I think we'd be okay with the hipsters. So we end up with a 12. Caterpillar gets 12. Hey, Vash, thank you for the host. Appreciate it. All right. All right, all right. What else do we have around here? It's just love butterflies. You know what? I thought about that. That's why I didn't give it a five. I gave it a four because they might be like, butterflies matter. But there's still so many of them. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh my gosh, my Pusheen! My Pusheen's under attack! Fuck off my Pusheen, bitch! We've got something a little dangerous here, you guys. Something a little dangerous. We've got a scorpion. 
We've got a scorpion. Ooh. 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 Look at that tank, okay? This guy looks like sweet. This guy's like, oh, sir, can I take your daughter to prom? And that guy fucks the prom, prom queen, okay? That scorpion, don't give no fucks. That is a armored truck right there. But he still gets a top hat. But he still gets a top hat, all right? He does. We're all dapper here. Uh, I'm sorry. I I'm so sorry for doing that to you guys. It makes me want to, like... <laughs> uh, that's what a scorpion looks like when it molts and grows out of its skin, which I didn't know was a thing. But, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna try to not. He's getting ready for the prom queen. <laughs> oh, my god. Okay. Scorpions are actually a common street food in China, California, Arizona, New Mexico, and other southwestern states. They taste like crab, actually. You gotta cut the stinger off first. Don't wanna eat this guy. But. You, you can also have an allergic reaction, but for the most part, this is actually pretty normal. <laughs> Just, I wouldn't look at that motherfucker and be like, yeah, I'm gonna eat that. But you know what? More power to the people who do. It's such a well, like, I don't know, you have multiple regions eating scorpions, so I give it a five. Because to me, hell no. But other places, it's it's pretty legit. So I gave it a pretty good score. Textures... <laughs> Texture Tsunami. I mean, you've got kind of a lot going on here. Fried chicken? If you, like, fry it up, maybe some lobster tail. I mean, I'm not sure. Are you supposed to crunch through the shell, or do you open it up with a little crab fork? I don't know. I gave it a three. I kind of middle of the road because... I feel like you have crunchy and then you have maybe squishy or maybe muscly in the inside, but there's not, you do eat the shell. I don't know. I don't fucking eat scorpions, dude. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think it's as variety as a caterpillar, for example. Like when you, when you look up scorpions, it's, this is kind of what you get. Tongue Triumph, oh my god, every time I see that. Tongue Triumph, though, you, you want to stick this thing on your tongue? No! Are you crazy? Are you crazy? You're going to pick up a live one of these things and stick this on your tongue. You're going to stick this goddamn thing anywhere near your tongue? And these? And these claws? No! Bitch, no! Zero! Hell no! Moving along. God, throwing up in our mouth one more time. Hipsters, fuck it, dude. He's chilling. He's drinking whatever the hell that is with the scorpion in it. Yeah. I don't think the hipster cares too much. You know, I think it's actually hipster to have a drink with a scorpion in it. So, scorpion out here with a 13. All right. Scorpion out here represent. Scorpion out here represent. Well, that's five bucks. Do you hear that, you guys? Do you hear a, a, a buzzing? A, like a bee? Oh my God. Hang on. Let me get this bitch. I got him. I got him. We got one more, you guys, one more. I was only gonna do five, but you guys get a bonus because this mofo, wouldn't leave me alone. How about a bee? We've got a whole movie dedicated to these things. We've got movements for these things. So we gotta talk about the bee. And I just, I just saw that picture and it's like, it's cute. You can't tell me that's not kind of cute. Okay, that's a big old bumbler. Yes, that's so fuzzy. It's cute. You cute. And he's got a top hat too. 
and he looked so adorable. And there's actually an entire subreddit dedicated to bees with top hats. The bees! <laughs> yes. Nick Cage's favorite. So, look at a bee! Alright, Picky Eater. You know that website? They do not want you to eat bees. These guys will kamikaze you. And you'll get stung by them. No. No, what the fuck? I know people call these spicy sky raisins for, like, you know, animals like to try to eat bees. Don't eat a bee. Don't eat a bee. Don't do it. Koda, you want to eat a bee? Koda's, like, up on here. Don't. Zero. Zero. Don't eat bees. Texture. I mean, to be honest, like, if you covered it in chocolate, this shit would be, like, a raisinette or a milk dud. Like, I don't know. I feel like they're pretty basic where... Koda's butthole. Nice. You're... <laughs> You're gonna have like a little crunch and then maybe a quick little gush. That guy's more like a gusher. But there's not too much craziness going on. <laughs> He's like rubbing on like, Koda, you wanna eat a bee? He's sniffing at it. He's thinking about it. Oh, you like that bee? Um, you know what? I give bees a two though. I don't think... I don't think bees are gonna like rock my world. God is hungry for bees. Yeah, Koda would eat bees. <laughs> he thinks it'd be a great idea. Um, also, I had to give it a two because I think it's basic. But we got wings. We've got wings on here. What? What would a wing taste like? You know, that'd be kind of interesting to experience. Your tongue. How would your tongue survive a bee? It wouldn't. Uh, no, I don't want to get stung and end up like these dogs. Are you kidding me? Look at their, it's so sad, but it's also like funny. It's like, look at those babies. No, I don't want to end up with a tongue the size of like my hand. Like, no, little woofers, poor things. Cautionary tale, okay? We know what happens if we eat a bee. We're not going to eat a bee. So, no, that's a zero. So, you know, dude, I would say sorry he's doing badly, but he's probably happy about this. No. Lastly, hipster hype. Hipster hype. No, you're going to get punched out. There's probably a hipster out here who would, like, go to jail to beat you up for eating a bee. Save the bees, okay? Bees are dying at an alarming rate. They are not going to be okay with you eating a bee. You can steal their girlfriend, but you better not eat bees. Okay, hipsters are not going to be cool with that. That's a goddamn zero. Bees, get a two. All right, you're not going to see bees on the menu. They're, they're honey, sure, but the bees themselves, I don't think so. I don't think you want to do that. No. No. So, our winner, you guys, our winner is the cockroach. Who knew? Who knew? Our winner is the cockroach. Hmm. <laughs> You're watching Coyote Peterson, and this is the Sting Zone. All right, I'm about to put this venomous, poisonous, fuck, I don't know what it is. I'm about to put this ant on my arm and get stung. <laughs> Okay, it's not doing anything yet. Okay. Oh God, he bit me, he bit me. Ugh, I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel it. It's spreading through my arm. Oh my God, look it. You can see, you can see the venom creeping through. Oh God, <laughs> it's just like, 